Okay, let's test out Intel Arc A770 in the brand new launched just today Avatar game. I'm doing this externally rather than game capture. Normally I do game capture, but I'm doing this for a reason because uh, I want you guys to be able to see exactly what I see with FSR because now there's FSR 3.0, which, you know, changes things up a bit. Uh, so, you know, doing game capture can cause artifacting and can cause issues in that too. And I don't have the best game capture. So let's do it this way and I'll try to get you guys to see what I'm seeing. Whatever the setting is at right now, it's actually running very well. Um, so this is not a beta driver. I am in the Intel Arc beta program, but this is the most recent stable driver, uh, publicly available stable driver. And they haven't released anything specifically for this game. Uh, so this is like, I think this is like several weeks old and the game is not specifically optimized. So this might get better if anything, but let's check day one. So we're at uh, 4K here, FSR three, which is fantastic that this is added on balance. Let's turn it off and get a uh, baseline here. Yeah, 20 FPS. That's actually a good baseline. We're getting close to 30 at 4K medium. Um, that's good. It's running better than some of the AMD ones I tested, what I'm going to have a video on. And uh, this is a pretty demanding scene here. So, you know, 45-ish in these less demanding areas of 50 even, you know, indoors, more narrow. I like this. I'm not far in the game, as you can see here, but I like this scene here because it shows very, very far draw distances here. And you can see, you know, there's multiple layers of foliage here. The FSR is working great on the AM, on the uh, Intel card here. And we're even getting 35 in this really brutal scene here. That's pretty good. Uh, look at the VRAM usage, 12 gigabytes, right? That's fantastic. Closer to 40 here in this really demanding scene, so you're going to probably want performance. Um, some people are okay with 30 FPS. I'm not really. I mean, maybe if I have to, but there's a big jump going up to like 40. It's quite noticeable. Um, 30 can actually sometimes make me nauseous if it's really jerky, so. Look at the lows too. Really, really good performance here. It's actually outperforming the Intel, the uh, AMD card. It's a lower tier card, 7600, but ultra performance here. On medium, you're going to get close to 40. It's getting a little muddy. Still looks great, though. No sparkling. This FSR 3.0, AMD's done a very good job with it. Um, normally, you'd get all these sparkles up in these foliage here with this moving here on an older FSR, and that's gone. Up close, it looks really nice. FSR, even on ultra performance. We're on 4K, so. And then a little bit distance. It's a slightly softer, but, I mean, you're not going to be probably looking way back here. This all up here looks great. All right, well, that was quite impressive. Uh, I think VRAM is going to be partially to blame for the really good performance here. Um, you know, just just actually fairly outstanding performance there for what it was. I mean, this game is hard to run. I've seen the 4090 playing this game, and it runs it fine, but it's not, like, shockingly good. This is 1440p medium just straight up, no scaling. And uh, you're going to get slightly above, you know, what I used to, what I often call console playable, because a lot of the consoles shoot for 30. This is great, though. 35. Lows are good. 30 for 1% lows, 29 for 0.1% lows. That's really good, actually. Yeah. And this is, this is again, I'm going to say this again. This is, there's no game-ready drivers from, a from Intel here. The drivers that I'm on are, like, uh, three weeks old, maybe four weeks old, maybe more. Um, so, I mean, it's only going to get better when they put out optimizations here. So, quality FSR is going to get you your 45 in these demanding scenes. Balance FSR is doing pretty well here. You're probably going to want some FSR. I mean, this game is apparently very difficult to run. I've been testing several different GPUs today. Even AMD ones. You know, this is an AMD game. That'll give you your 45 in these very demanding scenes and closer to 60 and easier scenes. This is probably where I'd go. I wouldn't play 1440 native. It's a little low. This is good though. Performance here, you're gonna get 50 here. Still looks fantastic. I'm not noticing any softness or artifacting. This is one of the advantages of having higher, you know, more modern FSRs is that you can turn more of it on, All right? With FSR 2.2, I hesitated to go above balanced. With FSR 1, I barely ever used it because it looked like crap. FSR 3 here, performance looks fantastic. 
So this is a win for everyone with these new FSRs, Intel and AMD specifically, obviously. This is now ultra performance. Again, it's only getting slightly softer, but there's no artifacting, right? That's where it's impressive for me. There's no artifacting in any of these issues, any of these areas here that would previously have a lot of issues on higher levels. And this is our 60 in a demanding site. So, you know, I'm using my A770 a lot more these days, and I'm going to play this game on it. And I think I'm just going to go with, you know, Ultra Performance FSR. It seems to be not degrading the image quality to a level that I can't play, deal with, right? Looks great. Very good. 1080p with balanced FSR here. And it's 60. Intel Arc doesn't scale well at lower resolutions, which is just a phenomenon that I've been realizing since I first bought one. It actually does much better at higher resolutions. So you'll notice that going from 4K down to 1440p down to 1080p doesn't give you as much benefit as you think from some other brands. So the Intel Arc A770 is actually quite good at 1440p and even 4K with some scaling. It just does better there. Um, when you get down to 1080p, you don't gain as much as you'd think. So, um, you know, this is more the realm of the A750, the 1080p. With the, with the A770, I think you're going to be good at 4K or 1440p. Okay, so that's the results there. Very, very impressive from Intel Arc. There's no point in spending a ton of time on this video. Um, this is this is pre-game ready drivers. This is, you know, these drivers do not specifically address this game. It's only going to get better from here. This is outperforming my AMD 7600, which isn't shocking, probably due to VRAM, you know, that 12 gigabytes VRAM used right there in this game specifically. This is a 16 gigabyte card, so it's really coming in handy there. Um, I think it's, you know, it's playable right now. If you have an A770 and you were thinking if this game is playable, yes, very playable at 4K with scaling, 1440p, maybe a little bit of scaling, totally fine. Uh, pick up the game if you like it. I don't know how good the game is. I'm not very far in, but it's running fantastic. And again, it's only going to get better, but even this day one results are very impressive. So uh, good job, Intel. I don't know if you did anything here or Ubisoft, whoever was responsible for this. Um, it's nice to see an Intel 877. It's nice to see Intel Arc doing so well on a you know brand new, very visually demanding game on launch day. Uh, happy to see this.